Hello, and welcome to my channel. This may be a little bit different speed. Um, hold on. Hello, and welcome to my channel. Uh, friends of mine, this is a little bit different than the stuff I usually post. Um, I got a truck a couple months ago and I started to watch more and more videos of truck camping and stuff like that. So I went ahead and bought a cap, a little bit more expensive than I was wanting, and then started planning out my camper build. And this video is gonna be showing a little bit of that build process and some of my planning, showing the plan, stuff like that. And then gonna start making videos of my camping, the different cooking I do and everything. So yeah, a little bit different, but hope you enjoy seeing this process of designing, planning and building this camper. So hope you enjoy. So this is my 2019 GMC Canyon. It's standard, which first of all, I love, and I wanted to build a camper setup. I got some inspiration by the photos you're seeing now. Um, I like the the split with the drawer underneath and also the expandable bed and the cubby on the side. So this is what I kind of started planning for my own build. So this is when I got the topper on the truck. And honestly, with under a week, I had this build underway. So I didn't have the cap on too long before I was ready to go so these are the the designs and the tailgate view and you can pause here and see kind of what the plans are um, same kind of build from the reference photos so it should be pretty straightforward and what you're about to see here is me realizing that where my bed platform is about the height i'm sitting at is that you can see I'm hunched over. So I wanted to use the reference photos so that if I needed to sit inside, I can sit like this and have my back straight so I'm not slouched over. So that was a large inspiration for the design I went with. And this is a little bit of a jam session on the way to get the lumber and to build. Now I just want to say this quick, this is just before building, that I really wouldn't be able to do much on my own. This is my friend Blake, you can see he's the one that's dressed up for the job and I'm not. This is something I have the ideas for but I can't really build it or execute it by myself so he was eager to help and I really appreciated that and he really made my vision for this come to fruition. So. Now we'll get underway. And all we're doing here is getting ready to get this plywood. Cut some wood. Heck yeah. Get it cut for the base of the truck. So here we're just cutting off the end uh, because the sheet of plywood is 8 feet long and what we need is 6 feet long of the bed and we need 43 and a half inches in order to fit in between the wheel well. 43 and a half in between the wells which it may actually be perfect because 43 and a half the gap on the wheel well is like we could almost do it, but it's not enough. For what? <laughs> like, if we use this strip, like, here. Oh. But it's like, it's an inch 
Yeah. Two little butts. Yeah. So here we have the bed base plate for the build there and we're going to start getting ready for the 2x8s to go in for the bed support with the drawer underneath. It'll be the 2x8s will go to the end here okay. and it'll be 2x8 here and then 24 inches over from that is the other one. Okay, so we'll, I'll cut them to six feet right away. Yeah. And then we'll lay them out on there. We'll yep. draw some lines. Okay. Take it out. Yep. And then it'll be do more of the. Do one of those blue pens, the small one? I don't know if you wanted the really small or. Dude, I, that's the medium. Man. No, it's okay. <laughs> So here we just cut the two different 2x8s two to the 6 feet that'll go on the base plate of the build. I wanted to do this just because it was easiest to me. It may have cost a bit more for what is seemingly useless in the base plate on the bottom, but I think it was worth it and it's something sturdy to build on which will be quite handy. And now we're just measuring where the center 2x8 will go um, and the gap in between will be the drawer on the right here. Okay. For, we'll drill the both sides in and then I'll... Oh, you want sides. the front to completely fill. That's why I'm saying, oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I just need you to explain it one more time. <laughs> It's funny because it's always the last time that I explain something is when you get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good for not you need to explain things after I understand them. <laughs> <laughs> <You always> count on me. <laughs> and now this is cutting the three quarter inch piece of plywood that'll be on top of those two by eights that you just saw. And that will be the surface for the bed as well as the spare piece of plywood will be the bottom of the drawer here that you can see. Yeah, they were literally just cutting to fit on top of that. Yeah. And now we're building some of the drawer parts. So this will be two by sixes on that piece of plywood. We're literally just gonna drill it from underneath through the plywood into those two by sixes in basically a box and that will be my drawer under my bed. It's the most straightforward design and also pretty sturdy. Some of the 2x6 that we had, some parts of it were not so good, um, but there is enough usable for my liking that continue to go through with it. And this is basically having the two sides of the drawer done. And now we're starting to cut the ends. Cut that a little straighter. Yeah. Oh, we measure. So my GoPro died and ran out of memory, so I switched to my Sony. And this is once we had the drawer basically built, and we're gonna start putting the top 
onto where my bed will be. And of course with us fine woodworking humans, it fit perfect. I just want to say now, if you're new to the channel, if you would subscribe and like the video, that'd be a huge help, and stay tuned for the future videos. So now that we basically have a good chunk finished, now we started to cut some of the half inch plywood for the face of the drawer and this is in the next shot you'll see also where the handle will go and we're just measuring to make sure that the screws don't poke through on the other end so that if I'm grabbing something out of the drawer I don't cut my hand or something like that and this is after we installed it it was pretty straightforward I was actually Pleasantly surprised with how it came out. Those, those cuts match up pretty well, which I'm very excited about. And then here, I'm just going to show you what we ended up finishing by the end of the night. So I'll cover it in the next clip, but you see a lot of what looks like pretty janky work, but that side of the bed we ran into some issues that I'll, uh, I'll talk about in this clip right here, and hopefully I can paint it a bit. So this is the almost finished product. Um, here's gonna be the false top. We still have to put a rail like this on this side so that the extra piece can make the bed bigger. Um, extra piece up here as to top this off and it's all leveled all the way down as well um, cubby here little shelf there cubby in front of the wheel well and then here we're gonna cut the extra three quarter inch and that is going to make flip up cubbies there and in front and then we have the drawer, so it's it's six feet long, fully, and a nice little hinge in the end. All that it doesn't. Right now, the drawer doesn't um, doesn't roll on anything. It's not too bad. I'll see what it's like, but. May change that. Yeah, all in all, I love it. Went really well, so. So, thank you for checking out the video. Uh, to stay updated of when I upload new stuff, um, go on these different camps and hikes, uh, subscribe and like the video and I'll see you soon.